Little B is a young Nigerian girl who escaped from the soldiers who brutally killed her family, only to spend two years in a refugee detention center in England. Hearing Little B's story can inspire all of us. Little B learned to speak the Queen's English to survive. That was part of her disguise. But don't we all have our disguises and identities that we hide behind to fit in, if not survive? At times, we all may feel like refugees from ourselves. We might feel all alone, even if we're drowning in a sea of people. Maybe we pretend that we are Batman. Or we just put on a tough exterior. Is it our scars that we are hiding from? We all may have a sad story that we want to find refuge from. But Little B tells us that scars and sad stories are just another word for beauty. They show that the storyteller is still alive. Whatever horrors you may carry, there is also room to carry hope. The next thing you know, something fine will happen to you, and you'll turn around and smile. Little B knows that smiling is important. If you can't smile, your situation will be even more serious. Looking at the Gray detention center chains for two years, Little B thought that gray would be the color of her life. How many of us live our lives in a gray area, hiding our true colors? But like B, you just keep walking. The sun will rise to show you your true colors. You don't have to stay trapped in gray. There will come a time when you can stop simply surviving and start living. It doesn't matter if you live in this country or that country. Just the secret, irresistible heart of living is what matters. That's what globalization is all about. People in B's country have dreams just like us. There are some things that we all say in the same language. After all, everybody likes you too. So no matter how sad your story may be, tell it proudly. Maybe it can inspire others to share their stories as well. And after all, it's when you come out from behind your disguise and show your true identity that you can finally find Udo. Oh,